Hi guys, I just installed myself a new virtual box, virtual box machine. And the question, the topic is about, well, that's already the one for May that we're trying out. Is Tilix. Tilix is a terminal and there are like, I don't know, 20 to 30 terminals on Linux. So you have to choose. Now, choosing is always losing. But the question is very specific. Eric, um, when we open our Super Shift Enter, our terminal is here in the right mouse click, open terminal here. And we have chosen at some point in time to have termite and everything is built around termite. 80 termite themes, Arch Linux Tweak Tool has themes to set. So it's all interwoven, if that is a word. So it's um, part of our system. So uh, where is it? I think it's here, termite themes. We have so many lovely choices. Let's do, just try and apply a theme and then you can see how easy it all is. So Control Alt T is gonna launch also a terminal and a super shift enter is going to open this. Control Alt Enter is going to open again a terminal. So there are many keyboard shortcuts. Super T is also a keyboard shortcut, but then one for UXVT. So Tilix, all right, Tilix, Tilix, Tilix. If you do this, right mouse click, open a terminal here. What is this? This is part of Thunar. It depends what system you're on, right? This is XFCE. So right mouse click, this should be part of either XFCE or Thunar. Now, Super Shift Enter, you need to, well, there is no need, but you can learn the insights of your machine and that's why we are here to go and have a look at the insights of your computer system in the config and in the local is where all the settings will be in this case i'll check out the dot local the share the xfce the helpers the custom terminal emulator desktop that's one so let's put you there the other one I'm going to look, take a look at, the other thing we're going to look at is the .config. Now, if you take a look at those packages, or folders, we have one here, that's interesting. And we have, where are you? That's one that we like to have a look at. And the other one is here, Thunar. Now, in this case, I need this one. So I have this file, I have that folder, and in here, right mouse click, open terminal, not Tilix yet, right? PT termite. Have a look at all the things that launch termite. What is this UCA XML? This is a file, and files can be opened and edited. Control find termite, right? What if I just change termite, anything termite-like with Tilix? But do I have Tilix? Pseudo Pacman minus S Tilix. Not yet. So that's done. Tilix is installed. I did remember that Tilix told me something. There appears to be an issue with the configuration of the terminal. The issue is not serious, but correcting it will improve your experience. Click the link below for more information. So we better do that. And it's just a simple copy paste. We just read everything. And then it says fixing the issues. We need to update the bash RC or the ZSRC, depending what you're on. Execute VTEA. ZH directly. This involves adding the line at the end of the file. Okay, well, earlier on I put it at the beginning of the file and it was no issue either. So, super shift enter. Bash RC is here, all the way down. So, NeoFetch is the last thing we do. Let's do a quick change. PaleoFetch, save. Need to install it, sudo pacman minus s, Linux, paleo fetch, voila, so that's included in the video. So save, and when I now launch a control alt t, I get paleo fetch, a bit smaller. Okay, so 
I've done my best. I've changed the, um, so Tilix can be launched from here. So you can see already, Tilix, that's it. This is your Tilix, can be made transparent, but let's have some fun later. First the keyboard shortcut, that was the question on Telegram. So this guy, Termite, Tilix minus E, we'll see, find another one. Utilities, this is open terminal here. This is the right mouse click. Open terminal here, termite. Nope, Telix. Save. So all the keyboard shortcuts are now uh, changed. In here as well, we have to open it with right mouse click, open with. In here as well, we can say open with Telix. And everything, this is icon termites, um, yeah, so you can actually change the icon as well, and it doesn't matter really, right? It doesn't matter, but it's correct. <laughs> it's correct. So everything Telix. There is an icon, it seems, for Telix, so we can use it. I was just looking. Is it 1L, 2L? It's 1L. So that's it. Another most common mistake is that you would continue to work and say it doesn't work. Why? There's this fun image from IT Crowd, fun sentence. Did you try turning it off and on again? Yeah. So, well, look out enough already, but you need to let XFC take a look again at all its code that we just changed. Right mouse click, open terminal here. And there is still the issue I see here. That we we did change the bash rc nano bash rc um, i'm on the desktop it seems ah, look at that okay close anyway so right mouse click open terminal here is gonna work there is a configuration issue so we'll have a look again at the bash rc all the way down Ooh, forgot to copy paste <laughs> <laughs> that happens. That's that's typical, Eric. Typical, Eric. Copy paste. Did not save it. So, hopla. Control C. There you go. I did do my paleo fetch. <laughs> so that's something. Yeah, go away, go away, go away. And Control T is now terminal two. Nor it says. No, well, he's, he's got that wrong, but um, this is definitely something else, something you were not used to. Right mouse click, open terminal here. Nice, now we have some fun, right? So this is the end of the, the keyboard shortcuts. Control Alt T is this, Alt Enter is Tilix. It's all Tilix, whoa, what happened, right? That's our choice. And then, uh, I've been walking around a little bit. Well, let's first have some fun in the sense that we get the fun stuff. Article Linux, Meta, give me fun. And there is lots of fun. And if you're wondering, Eric, what are you installing? So Article Linux, Meta, fun. Let's see if we if Google finds something interesting. Fun, yeah. How to install Doom 2. <laughs> Installing fun stuff for the terminal on Article X. So this is what we're talking about. Bash top, C matrix, cow fortune, figlet, ranger. The locomotive we've got on, we've seen it in Arch Linux ISO of April. Yeah, April Fool, I suppose. So this is what I just installed and all these things have examples. Haven't been playing around long with cool retro term. Probably before your time, guys, uh, many of you guys watching, but uh, we used to start up with a screen in green and amber, and that's it. This was our computer screen. 16 colors. No, no, no 16 colors. <laughs> so this is a cool retro term, and uh, voila. So these are the fun stuff. Now, I launched this, I installed this, because of the fact that we can have a terminal 
to the right. We can have a terminal to down. And now we have this. And then I can say C matrix here. I can have here some fish swimming around. ASCII aquarium, a Q Eric, some fish. And SL is this locomotive that's coming over. So it's all quite fun to tile up your uh, terminals. You can open your window, open safe as. So if, I have, if this is the way to go for me, right? If this is the way to go, then I can save this setup and it will open. It will not open with these applications. Maybe the somebody knows if that's possible but it will open this layout, this um, look and dimensions and all that. And it will open a terminal, but without the applications running. Synchronize input name preferences. Been playing around with some preferences. Here's the default for the scrolling, show on scroll bar, scroll on output, limit scroll back, don't want that. Me personally, don't want that. Transparency, I do want that, but not too much. Still need to see something. I went through all these guys, I believe. Um, which was the one I liked? Was it material? I think material was soft on the ice. Orchis is here. Tango Yaru. I believe this one was the most suitable material. Scrolling, show scroll bar, yes, no. Compatibility, patch, advanced. And there is so much more to Tilix. So definitely um, something to, if you got the time, to have a look at. The Quake thing, so I suppose we can do an F12 for it too, which is now XFC terminal. Quake is a drop down terminal by default. So hence probably the hint that this is going to be the setting for our drop down. Haven't looked into that. <clears throat> Background image if possible, if you want that. So there you go. Now you have an overview of all the extras that's in here that you can do. In the meantime, this guy is a little bit more yellow <laughs> instead of green due to our theme, I guess. Um, but hey, the question was, right right mouse click close anyway don't want to see this anymore voila there you go right mouse click open terminal that was a question that's solved all right maybe one last thing um keyboard shortcuts right keyboard shortcuts you know where it is but let me just quickly show you change anything you don't like right termite all that now termites so xfc thermal here's your f12 but um the other thing i would like to mention is the exo thing so there's an application called exo open and let's use tilix so mon exo open don't ask me ask the computer right read exo open is a command line front end of the xfc preferred application uh -huh. preferred application that's this so mail reader utilities telix says hmm i could have done it here too i've done it another way i've straight gone to the files rather than using graphical user interfaces but here are these lines right open launch here it is launch mail reader terminal emulator Terminal emulator, terminal emulator. So once it sets that the terminal <coughs> that the terminal emulator is Tilix, all these guys are changed. Control Alt T, Super Return, Control Alt Return. It's all changed in one go because we've changed the preferred the preferred uh, application there. All right, and that's it. All right, guys, have fun with Tilix. Cheers.